What's going on guys? It's Jake here from Chief Live Gaming today. A very exciting day. I just got my orc stomp ahead in the old uh, mailbox. I've been looking for one for a long time. Um, I actually found this on eBay. A guy that, that had bought it and didn't want it anymore. So uh, there we go. Made its way to me. I'm very, very excited to show this to you guys. So this is the uh, obviously the, the Forge World variant to the stomp ahead so it comes with the um where is it the eye of gork or mork and it kind of sits um behind this this the eye socket here and um looks fantastic it's like a strength d shot maybe this has a picture of it there you go so it's a strength d shot in game which is fantastic and it just looks amazing whether or not the rules are good or, or anything like that I love the aesthetic of it so I just wanted to show you real quick what I've done here's my stomp I've decapitated him and uh, that was that was really scary by the way ripping the head off was not fun but we we did it and I just kind of wanted to show you a size comparison so again quite a bit bigger much more intimidating I think I think it looks fantastic on the model. It's just a very, very intimidating. That's the only word I can come up with. Um, I think, does this like actual size? It's pretty close actually. It's a very intimidating look to your Stampa. So that's the stock size. And what I'm going to do, guys, is do a couple clips for you. So what I'm going to do now is clean it up, assemble it, and uh, come back to you guys. So I'll see you in just a minute. And we're back, assembled and mounted. The head is on the Stampa. Look at this glorious, glorious piece of resin right here. What a beast. So there's the old head and, and it's kind of just balanced on there. So hopefully it doesn't fall. Again, pretty huge compared to the, uh, the normal Stampa head. So I'll give you guys a quick look and then I just want to say a few things for those of you that are planning on doing this yourself that might help you. So the head with most Forge World pieces you're you're probably going to get some distortion that you're going to have to bend back into place. So there are a few pieces now hopefully I don't drop everything. Oh god. Okay. Whew. So there's this, this isn't glued yet, it's kind of the lower jaw kind of hinges on here. So you have to glue the lower jaw like this piece onto the support system or the support platform I guess. You have to kind of mold it. So if the jaw wraps around the piece like that, it wasn't wrapped enough. So I <laughs> if this is, my hand is a jaw, you see how it has to be kind of like that? So I had to bend it to conform to this platform much better and I actually had to clamp um, these two like this with my, my uh, little C-clamp. But uh, to do that with resin, all you need to do is either run it under hot water, like hot enough where you put your hand under it and you're like, oh yeah, that, that was a mistake. When you know it's just too hot. And then uh, put, your, put your piece of resin under that for like 10 seconds or something. And then you can feel it kind of loosen up and it'll bend and you won't break it, hopefully. Or you can let it soak in um, like warm, hot water for a while and then do it. Uh, speaking of soaking, make sure you guys wash resin before you assemble it. Um, and when you're doing your prep work, what I like to do is, is I just put it, put all the pieces after I trim the sprue or the, the excess and trim and file, I put it in a... Um, like a Tupperware thing with Dawn and warm water or just you don't need warm water but water and let it soak for a while and then I rinse it and let it dry so that helps it if you don't do that there's like release agents that they use sometimes that um, won't it won't glue together very well so that's my understanding of it so make sure you wash your resin and uh, to bend it back 
do the hot water thing. So uh, before we end this video, I wanted to show you guys one more little thing that I had trouble with. So if you look at the side of the head here, you can see that the head obviously has this um, round part that fits supposedly into the socket. So I'm gonna try to show you guys what, what I ran into here. So this front jaw piece, you need to bend it out. So if we look at it from the side, those teeth on the bottom, you see these four little guys right here, how they're kind of bent out. They're not straight up and down. That's because if, and I'm gonna try my best to show this to you guys, this is gonna be kind of difficult. So if you don't bend it, the head kind of sits, if we look at it from the side, it sits kind of like forward really far. I mean, this is an exaggeration, but it sits forward too much and it keeps falling off and it doesn't, it doesn't look right. So if you look at it from like the top versus that, you want to make sure to bend the, the top part of the jaw, like the, the mouth out to uh, make it so the head can slide backwards more like that. Otherwise you're, you're going to have some fitment issues and even even the even though when I bent it um, it still doesn't sit exactly like it doesn't sock the socket and the ball don't work together however that goes round peg square hole situation going on but uh, with some pinning or a magnet or something it'll be safe so I don't really think it's supposed to be perfect but just so you guys know if you're gonna do that yourself Let's take a look at the uh, stock head. Lost his head. A little cap here. One last time. So we went from from this guy here down to the Forge World head. Fantastic, fantastic piece. I'm super happy about uh, this purchase and um, the uh, the whole project itself. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you're going to get your own stomp ahead. I would definitely recommend it, I guess, um, if you have a Stampa, to think about getting the Forge World head for it. Uh, not only because it looks amazing, but this, in the game, if you play WYSIWYG, this eye right here, this big old baddie right there, giving you the stink eye, is really good. It's like a strength D shot. Even though it's orc shit ballistic skill, it's hilarious. When it hits, it's a strength D. Pretty awesome. You can also, uh, one thing I wanted to mention, I didn't assemble this guy yet because I'm going to leave him off for painting. But you can, you can set the little guy on there and then there's this hatch that goes like that, I think. Something like that. And then if you want, you can actually take the dude off and have the hatch be closed. Something like that. So, for those of you guys wondering why there's a big ass emptiness spot right there. That's that's what that's for. So, very happy again. I know I'm kind of repeating myself. I'm just so excited. I don't even know what to say, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, in in the next, hopefully, few weeks here, we're going to get painting on this thing. I'm going to paint match it to the Stampa, and I'm going to finish painting the Stampa in a video series. So if you guys are um, looking to paint your Stampa and you like what I've got going on here for the paint scheme, Maybe that's uh, something that you can uh, look forward to. Excellent. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye now.